Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be doing the Beauty Fairy Tag. I was just feeling extra beautiful today. It's a really special day here. And so I got all beautified up for it and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do the Beauty Fairy Tag because I do have a I've Beauty been Fairy. watching people do this uh, tag video and I really wanted to do it because all the questions I was like, oh, I have answers for those and I would watch people and answer them as they were doing it. And I was like, oh, that's what my answer would be and it's different. So I thought it would be fun to kind of answer these beauty fairy questions. So and it's I don't know who I was tagged by, but it doesn't matter. I might not have been tagged by anybody, but that's okay. Uh, same goes for you. If you're watching this and you make videos and you're like, oh, I really like that tag. I want to do it. Do it. So first question, your beauty fairy says you can try a product that is out of your budget. What do you choose? Well, I would probably try something like Tom Ford. I really want to get one. I want to get the Coco Mirage quad or the Cognac Sable one is really pretty too. So probably something really luxurious, um, like a luxurious makeup item or maybe some sort of really expensive, fabulous skincare because skincare is always really important. However, just today, um, Tim Talia, I mean, this is old news to you by the time you watch this video, but Tim Talia just posted that new Chanel highlighter and it's like lace. I need it. It is fabulous. It's so expensive, but it's one of those products that like I would just display. Like I'd probably put it in a plastic case right there on my mirror just to look at it because it's so beautiful. Okay, question number two. Your beauty fairy is giving you one luxury beauty product to have for free for the rest of your life. What do you choose? Skincare. Hands down, I would choose some sort of fabulous miracle serum. Probably a serum because that really just like helps your moisturizer sink in. It like does different things to like rejuvenate the cells in your skin, get puffs up your wrinkles, gets rid of wrinkles and fine lines. I would choose some sort of fabulous skincare serum. I don't have one off the top of my head because I haven't really delved into that too much, but I would do my research and then I would sign myself up for it. Auto delivery, please. Number three, what would be your three wishes for miracle products from the beauty fairy? For example, for example, permanent white teeth. Well, I would choose that um, because I drink a lot of coffee and a lot of red wine, and so I would choose permanent white teeth because I want to be 80 years old with these white pearly whites. <laughs> um, I would also probably choose something to keep your skin looking young or to erase damage that's already been done. Um, I used to lay out in the sun with baby oil for hours. I used to do the tanning bed thing. And I know, unfortunately, that skin damage is probably going to show up on my face. So I would totally reverse that if I could. Or prevent that from ever happening by, like, getting rid of the wrinkles and fine lines and all that good stuff. My third thing would probably be to make hair not ever grow back in places I don't want it to be. I'm okay with eyebrows, I'm okay with hair on my head, I'm okay with hair on my arms, but everywhere else it can just steer clear of. That would be awesome. If I never had to shave again, that would be freaking amazing. Okay, number four. Your beauty fairy is giving you $100 to spend on beauty today. What are you going to buy? Um, I would buy some Burberry eyeshadows and I would buy another Chanel blush because I really, really love my Chanel blushes and I have two and I want more because they're that fabulous. Okay, or I would get that new Chanel highlighter, but that would wipe out most of my budget. So I'd get a Chanel highlighter and then a Burberry eyeshadow. Number five, the beauty fairy has given you a day at the spa. What treatments do you choose? Well, considering I've never been to a spa, and at this point I would take anything they would get me. You can wheel me in there, I don't care if I'm on a gurney, wheel me in there, give me a glass of wine and pamper me like i probably would for sure choose a facial because i just like to get my face done i would probably choose a, mas a massage maybe some sort of full body treatment so that i can just be massaged and exfoliated and lotioned from head to toe that would be fabulous um as long as you don't put me in some sort of steamy hot bath because i don't do saunas i don't really like hot tubs because who wants to sit in their own sweat you can barely breathe in there too so to me that's like suffocation so definitely would avoid that um, number six, your beauty fairy is sending you back in time so you can give your younger self beauty advice. What advice do you give? Well, first of all, the first thought that comes to mind is the fact that I used to have breakfast sausage bangs, and I'm not even kidding you. I had four hairs that were equivalent to bangs, and then I would take a tiny, tiny little curling iron and I would curl them so that they were like literally a breakfast sausage right here. I also used to cut, like, I had my hair cut to here, and I had very thick, 
um, wavy and darn near poodle like hair back here so I cut it up to here and it was literally like a mushroom head like the Nintendo the Super Mario or the Nintendo the little mushroom dudes that walk around and you jump on them they get flat yeah I had that haircut and I had a darn near unibrow like Frida Kahlo unibrow look going on so I would have took myself and told myself girl you need to get rid of those bangs and go get your brows waxed and then I would have been a lot better off from today, the beauty fairy is giving you a new beauty skill. What do you choose? Oh, man. What do I choose? Well, you know what? I definitely need improvement in all areas. Like, like there's always something I could definitely improve on. I probably would, like, n get the skill to know exactly how to put together an eyeshadow look without, you know, like, making mistakes and blending for an hour. Like, I would want to know exactly how to get the eye look that's in my head like on the first try without having to wipe all your makeup off and start over because sometimes I have to do that. <laughs> Number eight, the beauty fairy says you can steal a facial feature from one of your favorite YouTubers. Do you accept? If so, what facial feature and from who? Well, first of all, I am proud to say that all of my beauty YouTubers that are my friends or not my friends are gorgeous. Um, I, I don't know. I, I love myself. Don't get me wrong. But if we can improve in an area, let's do that. Um, I am so jealous of Mallory's. Her, her YouTube name is Mallory1712. She has milky white, flawless, beautiful skin. And I'm kind of on the opposite spectrum. So I think most people choose something that they wish they had that they don't have. I have freckles. I have imperfections, zits, wrinkles, redness all that stuff so I would choose really really beautiful milky skin I absolutely think Candy Johnson is beautiful I love her high arched eyebrow I think it just really makes her like face stand out so I would probably do that pick that because underneath this my eyebrows are like non-existent you've seen me without makeup I have to draw them on and if I don't get them waxed they turn into a unibrow it's just crazy so it's like this battle between bushy eyebrows that are out of control or skinny eyebrows that you gotta fill in there's like no happy medium so yeah that that's the last question so this was fun I hope you guys found this fun to watch I like to do little tags like this it's just a way for you to get to know a little bit more about me or a way for me to just kind of you know, answer questions about things I don't have and things I wish I had and everyone wishes that they had some sort of magical beauty fairy that could, you know, change a little something about yourself. But I do want to remind you to just love yourself for who you are, embrace your beautifulness and enhance the things that are already beautiful on you because then that's what's going to make the fun part of makeup really fun. So I love my eyes, so I like to play up my eyes with makeup. If you have voluptuous lips, rock that bold lipstick, girlfriend. It's just going to make you look gorgeous not that you already aren't but i'm just saying so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will talk to you again soon bye